unless you find that zero zero point zero 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 one percent needle in a haystack guy that you know is just out of it, it, it's just because what most women want most women want um and i think i heard this guy uh caleb jones talking about this he said something to the effect of he said they want a submissive alpha which doesn't exist meaning they want a guy who has the sexual attraction and that's an oxymoron in itself that's exactly but that's what that's what most women want they want a guy who's the most sexually attractive desirable interesting funny successful guy but they're like i want that guy to only be with me like so you see and that's what you're saying you're like i want that dude to only be with me what's wrong with that because every other woman's saying that so let's say if i'm chilling and a woman seeing me, she's like, oh, I want Miss Lucari to be with me. The other woman's, I want Miss Lucari to be with me. The other woman's like, I want Miss Lucari to be with me. And I'm like, wait and a I'm second. I'm like, well, you can't because he's mine. So what's up? Right, but then I'm gonna say <laughs> I can because I can get all y'all. You know what I'm saying? So that's what it is. That's how it works. This is really interesting because a woman finds a sigma man, and a sigma man is a man who lives by his own rules. He doesn't really tend to follow what everybody else wants him to do. He's just like in his own world, basically. Mm. And um, okay, so because of women find sigma man just as attractive, or even more than attractive than an alpha male at the top of the sexual hierarchy, is being an alpha man a myth? No, well, the thing is, I think being a sigma male is a myth. Actually, I don't, I don't really, I don't really believe in sigma because the thing is, there's, there's, there's really just it's, it's like duality. There's either you're either this or that, and and whatever you are falls into any of those two things. You see what I'm saying? So either it, you're doesn't that fit the duality being either or being an alpha or being a sigma? No, either you're alpha or you're beta. You know what I'm saying? So, so a sigma could say he's alpha if he wants, but or say I'm leaning more toward that type of uh, you know thing. But it's really just alpha and beta. So a lot of times with the sigma thing is, from what I've heard and what I've you know uh, heard about sigma males is that they're kind of like an alpha male, but like they say, oh, you know, we're just on the outskirts. We're not really concerned with nothing. We just do our own thing. But that's still basically a description of an alpha male. An alpha male just does his own thing. Um, but he's, you know, alpha males are involved in certain things. And the sigma male, I guess, you know, sigma male is saying, well, I'm like the alpha male, but I'm just like a, a introvert. Like they call, I think some, I heard somebody call sigma males introverted alpha males or something like that. You know what I'm saying? But, um, okay. but, but that's what I'm saying. I don't really, I don't really uh, subscribe to the thought of the Sigma males. I feel like the Sigma male is, is an excuse for a guy who wants to be an alpha male or looks at himself as an alpha male, but he's really not. You understand what I'm saying? Like he's really, he's really not, uh, he's, he's, he's trying to not adhere to anything. You understand? So he's trying to say, well, I'm he's out of the whole thing. Trying to remain neutral. Right, exactly. So he's not really, you know, for anything or, you know, like how people, they have people that are just in the middle. I'm not really for this. I'm not really for that. I'm just like, I'm not even in a conversation. But the conversation really is alpha and beta. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? It all falls under that. Okay. Either you're this guy or that guy. You know what I'm saying? All right. So since you're leaning towards that, you know, mm -hmm. alpha males aren't a myth, um, what makes up an alpha male? Mm -hmm. Well, the alpha male is just basically who's dominant uh, in the situation, you know, the top guy. You see what I mean? Now, when it comes to women, though, see, when it comes to alpha males, when it has to deal with women, it's who's the top guy that the women want to be with? Who's the top guy that's the most attractive? Who's the top guy that's the most sexually attractive? For uh, an alpha male could also be, you know, in a sense of like business, who's the top guy in business? but a top alpha male in business could not be a top alpha male with ladies. You see what I'm saying? So it all depends on the, on the situation. So you're saying that the alpha male has to have, be an alpha male in only one particular department of their life. No, no, he could be in, in multiple parts of his life. But what I'm saying is, is that a guy who's an alpha male at work, he could also be an alpha male with ladies, but also, but on the flip side, a guy who's an alpha male at work may not necessarily be with an alpha male with ladies and a guy who's an alpha male with ladies may not necessarily be an alpha male with business and work you see what i'm saying so mm -hmm. he, it could be both or it could just be separate but it's just it's really just the top guy in any category 
that is, you know, in, in any of those categories. So the thing is, is that, you know, you're always going to have, because even if you don't say alpha and beta, you can say, you know, nice guy and player. You understand what I'm saying? You could say, right. uh, you know, uh, Mac and lane dude or whatever. You understand? So it's just, it's just this guy or that guy. So it's all the same, same stuff. You know what I'm saying? But that's actually what most women describe a Sigma male as the mm. lane guy, basically, mm. because mm. he's not after what attracts, what is attractive to the alpha male. Mm. Say that again. Oh, most women do consider the sick. If we want to go back to Sigma males, mm -hmm. they do consider Sigma males the lame guy mm -hmm. because they're what's attractive to the alpha male mm -hmm. doesn't matter to the Sigma male. Um, so with that being said, like, how do you differentiate the three? Because to mm -hmm. me, it's like the beta is the Sigma male. I agree. <laughs> well, that's the thing is, is because look, this is what I'm saying. You got guys who 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 say they're sigma males, but they don't want to come to terms with the fact that they they aren't. It's like these guys they call MGTOWs and you know men going their own way, or guys who say they're not about the game and don't want to deal with women or whatever. Those guys are like, guys. So who, sigma is a fancy name for beta. Yes, exactly. It's, it's, it's in that <laughs> okay, category. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because you're either alpha or beta, and, and sigma males are not alpha males. Because if they were alpha males, they wouldn't call themselves sigma males. You see what I'm saying? Like, that's right. the thing. They're, try, they're trying to find a place in the world. You feel what I mean? Okay. So, um, with the alpha male, um, because like I said, I am studying psychology, so I also like to get into the psychology side of things and mm -hmm. as I was researching for the certain questions I wanted to ask um, I was also looking up the characteristics of an alpha male and mm -hmm. um, I act to my surprise I actually did not really find anything too positive mm -hmm. about the alpha male characteristics right. um, you, they say you know they're intimidating it's all about domination sometimes mm. it could be physical um intimidation it could be verbal intimidation but it it reiterates in just about every article that i was reading that the mm. alpha male acclaims his dominance by intimidation um mm. just off of that information i'm not saying that it's true or false i'm mm. just going information that i did right which stemmed the question um do you think that at times the um it is possible for an alpha male um that an alpha male is an alpha male because of control or mm. self-esteem problems mm -hmm. well that's see that's that's actually not an alpha male see that's what i'm saying like mm -hmm. see this is the thing it's like this if i'm on top right right that means that I, I already have all the things that I want and need in place, or I, I, I can easily get what I want and need. So therefore, I don't need to control. The beta has to control. You understand what I'm saying? So for example, um, you know, you have guys out there who, if they have a girlfriend, you understand, they'll be at a party with their girlfriend and they'll, they'll feel a certain type of way if they see like their girlfriend, you know, having a conversation with another guy just for whatever reason. And so they want to control that situation and be like, yo, come over here. That's my girl. Don't talk to him. What, you know, all that, that's, that's beta male behavior, the control. Alpha males, real alpha males don't need to control because they already have what they have in control, meaning that they have everything they need and want working at their disposal. And they know this because they know that they're the top guy. You see what I mean? So it's a mindset. Beta and alpha is just really a mindset and how you how you navigate the world is not necessarily something you got to be born with or something that, you know, uh, is, is just special to one guy or another. But, but my question to you is, do you, are you attracted to alpha males or beta males? What, no. what are you attracted to? I am not attracted to the alpha male. I uh, tend to, I am one of the people who like to do the opposite of what everybody is doing. Mm -hmm. So if I be like, okay, so like at work, basically I work in a hospital mm -hmm. and there is an alpha male there and all the ladies were flocking to him. Mm -hmm. I will deliberately purposely mm -hmm. go in the other direction. It's a turnoff to me for some reason. But why, why is it, why is it a turnoff? You just, you don't know. You just like not. Well, I, I, for me, it's like, 
when I acquire things, mm. it has to be specifically for me. And one thing I do notice about the album, though, they do enjoy the attention. Mm. And um, it is typical, not saying that this is a true or false statement, but from my observations, it's typical for the alpha man not to actually want to settle down right away. Because, you know, they do have all these options and... Um, mm. They it, 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 and that's just a male in general. When a male, right. even if he doesn't have all the options, he's still just going to keep you know that door open for right. some reason. So wait, so I, is uh, it because so is it because you don't want to compete with other women? That's why you don't want. Oh, no, that's not the thing. I know I, I most people consider me an alpha female, but I do not consider myself that. Um, but there's no such thing as alpha female. But go ahead. <laughs> And why would you say that? If there's an alpha man, what mm -hmm. makes you think there wouldn't be an alpha female? No, well, this is the thing. There's not, what, what's your, well, I'll say this. I'll say this. There's no such thing as an alpha female in the, in the, in the definition of what an alpha male is. So people will think if we talk about an alpha female, they'll well, talk. Well, let me interrupt you. That, that is probably your view because males, mm -hmm. like you, you did mention that, you know, the alpha male, he, you know, he gets the females, he gets everything he wants. But when it comes to a female, it's okay mm -hmm. if she gets everything she wants professionally, financially, mm -hmm. and every other area except for males. Mm -hmm. And then it was like when she does have that attrac attraction with males, for mm -hmm. some reason, she's considered a hoe. Mm. Why the guy is just considered a bachelor, an alpha male. Oh, he mm. got it going on. But when it comes to a female, it's like, oh, she can't do that because you're a female. No, so. I don't. I, see, the thing is, I don't care if a woman's out here having sex and doing all that other stuff. My thing is the reason why it's not the same thing is because men, we have to work to get women. We got to work to get y'all. Y'all don't really have to work to... Think that we don't have to work to get men. No, no, I'm talking about sex. We have to work to get sex. Y'all don't have to work to get sex. You see what I'm saying? Like, you don't have to... Be well, I must have been living in a different. Well, right now I'm currently celibate. Like I don't engage in that right now. But back in the day when I was out there, you know, I had to put a little work in. So work, work in the, to get to have sex. Yeah, it, no, you it, didn't. guys are getting stingy. I don't know if you guys no, you realize didn't. that. <laughs> so wait, so you tried to get sex from a guy and he was like, "Nah, I'm good." Like you, you would tell him, "Hey, listen, I want to have sex," and he'd be like, "I'm good." Crazy? Never, I guess for me, because I'm, I never straightforward went about that. And it's not like I randomly just went up to a guy that I found attractive. Like, oh, I want to have sex. It was mm -hmm. more so um, a guy that I would be attracted to. Because for me, I have to be attracted to the person. Um, females are more uh, emotional. Mm -hmm. So for them, it has, uh, we do have the females that just can go bang anybody and forget about a guy. Mm -hmm. But for the typical female, we are emotional creatures by nature. Right. So for us, we know that once we sleep with a guy, we're mm -hmm. connected to them emotionally. That's why you guys would be like, I only slept with you once. Why are you harassing me? Also, oh, that's no. why you was having a hard time having sex because you didn't want to get emotionally attached. So you just didn't. Is that what, that what the case was? No, for me, it's because I know I do get emotionally attached, and I mm. guess I was more so... Okay, so this is before I got cut off, which is cool. Mm. I was going to say a point that was very vital to mm. it. Um, when most females, whether they want to admit it or not, mm. once we have sex, majority of the time we want to be... We're never really going to just randomly want to have sex with a random guy that we never want to see again. It's usually somebody that we want to be a part of our lives, um that's not true relationship that's not true i'm gonna tell you why it's not true if, why? if you have if so have you ever had sex with a guy and the sex was terrible no you because never had I'm, terrible like sex said, i'm very careful about who i pick to have sex with <laughs> well listen if you have terrible sex I'm, i promise you you're not going to want to be see with that guy again in most cases no actually i lied um <laughs> i did have terrible sex one time it, mm -hmm. And I can't even remember what happened. It, I think it was, he was saying, it's probably TMI, so I'm not even going down that route. Nah, go ahead, go ahead, let's go in. But, um, and then you, I have also have to be mindful of my title, so right. I don't want to say anything that's, you know, that will make them, the global system, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, what's going right. on here. So, um, so the sex wasn't all that, mm. but, um, 
for some reason, that's the only person that I wanted. I wasn't sexually, even though the sex was horrible with him, I was not sexually attracted to anybody else. I didn't want to go sleep with anybody else. Mm. This was the person that even though the sex was all that in my mind, it was just like, this is it. I don't know if it's more so of a loyalty thing mm. or, you know, just so then how did, So how do you explain women who have sex with guys and then just ghost them afterwards? What's going on with that then? They have or male they, tendencies. They have, they have what? <laughs> we have females that actually have male tendencies. No, I, I don't think it's male tendencies. I think they just didn't like the sex or they would just see, they, I, see, it's, it's, it's this myth that women, because I agree with you, there, there are women who will, uh, you know, feel a little bit more emotional when the sex happens because they're trying to get love through sex. So then they right. create the emotion, they create this story that now I, I need him and I want him. But I think that's more of a story. It's not necessarily the thing because there's too many women out there who will be with guys and they'll just have sex with them and then keep it moving. But it's not male tendencies, it's just those women, they don't, they don't create the emotional story unless they meet another guy that they feel that way too. Meaning that if they meet a guy they really like, so you, so what I'm thinking is you deal with guys who you really, really like and then try to make things happen with them versus you have women who have, who will have sex uh, with guys that are just sexually attracted to, but they not, they may not, not, they may not necessarily like them. And I want to point something out that you said earlier, you say you don't like to really mess with the alpha males. So what happens is, is that the alpha males are usually the, the guys that women will just have sex with and keep it moving because they're like, oh, I'm sexually attracted to me, sexy, I'm going to do it. But you say you don't like to deal with those guys. So meaning you like to deal with more of the beta male type of guy because he's more safe and you like the safety, which is why you want to, you know. Uh, it's not more so of being safe. It's more so of avoiding toxic relationships because mm -hmm. that also happens to a lot of females that don't realize that um, from, my, from my perspective, these mm -hmm. males, they typically don't stick with one female. So if you oh, yeah, are the male who's looking for a steady relationship, it wouldn't be ideal to go after the alpha male, especially I agree. if you know that his point of view isn't being with one woman. Okay, fine. If the alpha male actually wants to settle down and be with one woman, okay, then maybe I may consider an alpha male. But it's known that alpha male, you know, is promiscuous with multiple, multiple women at one time. Right. That's something that I'm not attracted to. I am highly, highly terrified of catching something I cannot get rid of. And that's one of the most easiest ways to do that. And then besides that, um, I try to avoid the relationships that will leave me wondering, well, am mm. I, you know, good enough? And then because mm. pe people don't realize that. Um, and this is the where it comes in when people, oh, oh, stop nagging me. I'm with you. I spend most of my time with you. You know I'm about you. But, you know, if there's other females in the corner, mm. there's something in the back of our head. Like, okay, we're must be missing something and nobody wants to go through a relationship you know being like that especially if you're somebody who's serious about right, relationships. That, and that's and you that's why you right. want that's why you don't want the alpha male you want the beta right. male you see what i'm saying that's the, that's the thing so my question to you is we can go with the sigma male <laughs> see that and see that and see that's the, so you said you would rather the sigma male is that what you're saying yeah but see, that's my point. The you sigma see? male, actually, if we want to use that word, the sigma male sounds like an Aquarius. And I'm an Aquarius. I'm in my own world. <laughs> like, I can be, like, right now, I could be having several thoughts, a conversation in my head without mm. you even knowing why I'm talking to you. That's just, mm. like, I'm in my own world. I'm really not attached to what other people seem attached to, like, trends and mm. um just me being on top i have no idea how it actually happens and mm. like i don't understand it because then like a lot of people they'll put, i find that they're jealous of me and i'm just looking at them like but i didn't you know i'm not buying for the top position but, see, of that, but it just happened but i think you i think you are though because this you said something interesting you <laughs> said you would rather the sigma male right and earlier we were talking about how the sigma male <laughs> isn't really like the alpha male, even though he thinks he is. So now you you really want an alpha male, but the next best thing is the sigma male. No, 
the sigma male wants to be an alpha male, but he's not. But the next best thing is to call himself a sigma male. So y'all are both working together. <laughs> to, y'all really want something else, but y'all is settling for the safe option. So you're settling for the sigma male who's really a beta male. And, the, and that beta male who thinks he's a sigma male is saying he's a sigma male because he wants to really be an alpha male. You see what I'm saying? So, cause, cause, so you're cause, saying that the sigma has an identity problem. Yes, and, 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 and if you're saying, I want the sigma male, what you're really saying is, I want the alpha, but I'm too scared to get with the alpha because I don't want to get hurt by the alpha. So I get the next best thing, which is the guy who considers himself the sigma, but he's really a beta. It's not so much of getting hurt, it's more so of, like common sense for me. Like why, especially if you know that, like I said before, they're not for the um, route you want to take in a relationship. Mm -hmm. Why would you consider that type of male? That don't you think like, you're settling? No, it's not. Because that's like me. Let's see if I can find a good example. Mm -hmm. I don't think I can find a good example right now. My brain is like. It's like, okay, it's like, like this. I say it like this. Okay. It's like, let's say I see a girl who I think is like a 10 out of 10. Like, I'm like, she's, she's a dime. She's, she looks good. She's on point. Everything is cool. And then I have a girl here who is like, she's okay, she's average or whatever, right? Now, what a guy would say is, oh, well, I don't want to go and get the, the, the girl who's a 10 because she's going to get too much attention. A lot mm -hmm. of guys are going to try to get with her. So I'm going to stick to this girl who's a six because no, she's okay, safer. So, see, this is what we're, we're, we're not meeting eye to eye on. Mm -hmm. You're talking about the guy who, um, a female who has a lot of guys attracted to her. But we're mm -hmm. talking about an alpha male. Yes, mm -hmm. a lot of guy, um, a lot of women are going to be attracted to an alpha male. I right. can be with a man that a lot of women are attracted to because mm -hmm. I already know that if that's the person I'm with, they want me. And mm -hmm. there's nothing that the other woman can replace that I have. Mm -hmm. Because everybody has that one thing that makes them them and sets them apart from anybody else. So I know if I, I yeah. end up with that alpha person that wants to settle down, with the type of relationship that I'm looking for, I'll be with an alpha male. But where are you going to find that guy, though? The difference between an alpha male who a lot of women are attracted to mm -hmm. and the alpha male who is attracted to a lot of different women. Those are mm -hmm. two different things. Mm -hmm. I could be with the alpha male a lot of women are attracted to. But right, but don't I you think he's going to want to be with other women, too? Period, who is attracted to not just me, but multiple women but what that uh, but what that, but that's what i'm saying you're never going to find you're never going to find an alpha male who's just attracted to you you understand you're, you're probably not going to find so any that's guy that's attracted why to you i would never date an alpha no, male no, it's I, not I, that because no but it's the correction i say every guy mm -hmm. is going to be attracted to more women than you but the beta is going to stay with only you while the alpha is going to want you and want other women so this this like that's not this, the relationship i'm looking right for. so that's it why you have to get right. with a beta that's what i'm right. saying and therefore that doesn't make me scared to be with an alpha because everybody wants him it mm. makes me want to go with a beta because mm. i know that's the type of man that's best for me rather than the alpha man who's attracted to multiple women that's not mm. what i want if mm. i wanted to be sister wives with somebody mm. i would you know go to go down that route but that's not what i'm looking for i'm not trying to be no basically if you want to put it that way mm -hmm. i'm trying to be the alpha female in his eyes like i'm everything to him right and, and i see that but see that's what i'm saying do you think though that you can actually be attracted to a guy like that long term knowing that he's your your everything to him because in, a, a lot of times yeah, women, that's that's, no, that's what y'all say, what but that, certain females need. No, that's what y'all want, what but y'all don't respond to it because you're gonna, yeah, you're gonna. <laughs> no, 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 that's not true because not every female's the same. I can mm. honestly say that um, that's the type of man I will respond to. Mm -hmm. I will just as I read, um said early earlier, the guy at work. He's attracted to me. Mm. I never considered being with him because I know he doesn't want one woman. Mm -hmm. Like, I only considered him when people started, oh, you guys should date, oh, you guys should be together. And I was like, well, you know, let me see his characteristics. Let me fill him out and see what him, he was about. And then, you know, once I realized what, at work, he is the ideal husband, the perfect mm -hmm. work 
husband. Literally, everybody considers him my work husband. He's doing everything for me. His attention's always on me. But I know once we leave the work arena outside of work, he's that guy that's in ATL, Cali, Miami, all the females. Mm. He has to be with more than one female. He's having the threesomes. Mm. That's something that I cannot deal with. So because mm. of that, I won't go in that direction. Mm. So what? So let me ask you this: If you met a guy, like let's say that same guy, let's say he's like, "Hey, I'm feeling you. I want to, I want to be with you." And let's say he's doing everything else as far as what a boyfriend would do. That's a great thing to do as a boyfriend. He's there for you. He talks with you. He takes care of you. All that other stuff. But the only thing is, he's like, from time to time, I might want to have sex with another woman. Would you be your friend? Huh? You're friend zoned. You're a friend. <laughs> So, so you're saying that, so, 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 so you're destined to be with the beta male. Is that what you're saying? If that's how you want to put it, mm -hmm. because that's one thing most women, mm -hmm. they'll sit there and um, it's very damaging, actually, psychological to women mm -hmm. to actually, especially if that's what they want. Okay, if you're the type of female that just wants to run around and sleep with different men, Mm. Okay, that's the type of guy for you. But mm. it's actually psychologically traumatizing and damaging to the woman who wants to be with a, you know, in a one-person relationship. But how's, how's now, it damaging to her? Right. So now you're looking at it, okay, I want to just be with this guy. He feels I'm just not enough for him. Here it comes back again. What is wrong with me? Right, but and isn't that a self-esteem issue, though? Yeah, and that's the reason why it's damaging for that person and it's very vital for the female to know what type of person she is and what type of man is good for her. And I feel that's one of the most common mistakes women make is mm. they go after a man that's not fit for their lifestyle or their mm. needs or wants. Mm. But then and then they end up in a relationship that's toxic. That's mm. when the situationships pop up and they're like, mm. oh, I'm in a relationship with this guy, but the guy doesn't view himself in a relationship with them. And they're like, oh, mm. you cheated on me. He's like, no, I didn't cheat on you. Because mm. now in their head, they're like, I want to be the only one. So I'm going to force him to be the only one. And mm. even though he told me that he wants to go sleep with other women, mm -hmm. that's cheating to me because I'm supposed to be the only one. That woman is not supposed to be in any type of relationship other than a platonic friendship with that type of male. And, the, and um, do you think that she can actually be in a platonic friendship with an alpha male? Um, yeah, I think uh, alpha males are the most reliable platonic friends. How wait, One, because the, they're brutally honest. But then, but but then, wouldn't, wouldn't your alpha male friend try to have sex with you? Yeah, they will, but it's up to you to know your boundaries, really. Um, and that's any in any given situation. I think it's just not an alpha thing, or uh, it's just a whole male thing. If a male is sexually attracted to you while you're friends, he's gonna want to smash. But that's see, that's the thing. Alpha males fact. aren't alpha males aren't trying to be friends with women, though. You see what I'm saying? That's that's what I'm saying. The guy who's alpha male, he's on top, so there's there's no incentive for him to be friends with a woman. But let me ask you this. If women, mm -hmm. if women are liking these beta males or like, okay, let's say you get with this beta male guy, why is it that women generally usually leave the relationship first with these guys? So, for, and for example, you got a lot of women who are married to beta males and then they get married and you always hear guys say, yo, I, I only have sex once a week with my wife. And you know what I'm saying? Like, why is that? Is that in, in my some thing, way, some way or somehow they're e either, um, because for women, well, well, for me, let's talk from my point of view. Because I know for me, I do have to, it depends really. It depends on different situations. Mm -hmm. I know for me, my emotional needs mm -hmm. are more important than mm -hmm. my sexual needs. Because, mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, let's be honest, there's all types of toys to help you out with that. It may not be the same as a guy, mm -hmm. and you may have to you know go get that guy once right. in a while but that's okay but for me my emotional needs are what is what is most important to me in a relationship if mm. i feel i'm not getting what i need emotionally or because like i said in order to be in any successful relationship that person has to be cut out for your lifestyle mm -hmm. and this is the reason why a lot of relationships don't work like my last relationship that i was in um i actually didn't come out of this relationship bitter 
because mm -hmm. I realized that this male was not for the lifestyle that I was. He wanted to be a rapper. He was rapping about promiscuous, um, you know, relationships. And he mm -hmm. wants to be on the scene with females, you know, twerking on him. And, you know, that image. For me, mm -hmm. me being somebody who is going, um, I'm, a pe I'm a preacher's kid. Um, I mm -hmm. wasn't raised in that lifestyle. So for me, that's a turnoff. So I know mm -hmm. for me to be in a relationship with that guy, Mm. It's not going to work. It's not going to fit my lifestyle because of certain things I do and the image that I have to have. So if the images don't align or you're not mm. getting what you need um, emotionally or the support you need for uh, career careers, because also that was my issue too. Um, what actually all my past relationships, which wasn't that many, I'm a very reserved person, mm. um, was that I didn't get the support I needed for you know career or whatever but they wanted me to be about all about their career support me help me um help me get here but when it came to the support let's say if i just need the emotional support for mm -hmm. something that i was doing towards my career i did not get that so for mm -hmm. me even if i love that person dearly there's always going to be that one hole missing and it's big enough to be like hey this isn't working for me so now mm -hmm. i go have to go ahead and leave the relationship right well the thing is is one thing for to have preferences and to want a certain type of relationship. I feel like everybody, you know what I'm saying? Like everybody has their preferences of what they like, what they don't like. The problem is, and what I'm hearing though, is mm -hmm. that there's women who they're making decisions based off of fear though. It's not, because like you said, you're like, well, I don't want to get with this guy because he no, might- you're Okay, so you're telling me, me knowing what type of woman I am and what type of man I need, mm. that me not going after a male that is not healthy for my mm. lifestyle is living in fear? No, I'm saying that you're living in fear because you're saying that you're scared that of getting hurt by the alpha guy. That's that's what I'm saying. No, because you're saying not, if, if the alpha guy is aligned with what I need, mm -hmm. why not be with him? But if he's not... Mm -hmm. Why am I wasting my time with you? Right, but what I'm saying, this is what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, is that you're saying that you want your, because I was, because we were talking about earlier mm -hmm. about how you have the alpha males and then the sigma males and then the beta males or whatever it is like that. So I was mm -hmm. saying that you are gravitating more to the beta male type of situation. Now you were saying that if, you know, if I'm with a guy and then I'm going to be wondering, is he talking to some other girl? Is he, does he want to have sex with another woman? That's insecurity. That's, that's, mm -hmm. you see what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying where, so you're saying, well, because I'm going to be wondering about those things, I'd rather not deal with him and when deal I with this other that, guy. It was more to clarify that statement. It was more so um, about the male that you know does mm. not want only you and being a female that you know you want to be with only but, one But that's male. what I'm saying. What it's guy? It's the female. There's all types of, you know, people mm. and what they prefer to mm. have. There are women who prefer to have, they don't care if, you know, the alpha, that, let's just take alpha, beta, sigma, and just out of the picture for a second. Mm. There are people who, when it comes to a male, mm. like I like in a relationship, when I'm in a relationship with a guy, mm. I it's it's okay. Like I know that I there's always gonna be a female that's prettier than me. There's always gonna mm. be a female that has more money than me. There's mm. always gonna be a female that has more status than me. But I have to be with a guy that I know is aligned with the I um goals I have for a relationship. Mm. And if my goal for a relationship is to be specifically with one person, I'm not going to go with a guy who does not have the goal to be in a specific relationship with one person. Cause a guy okay, so my question out. to you is, why would a guy want to only be in a relationship with one woman? But isn't that what it was created for? See, and then you also have no, to I'm, I'm, I'm asking why. why? My background, like. I, like I said, I'm a preacher's kid. This is what, mm -hmm. how I was raised and this is what I taught. Mm -hmm. I was taught, you know, um, Eve was created for Adam. Mm -hmm. There's a woman for every man. There's a man for every woman. Mm -hmm. So really, what is if, um, a, a relationship is to be a partnership mm -hmm. and to, you know, grow a family. What's the point of being with multiple women um, as 
if you want to go biblically, we all seen when it came to King David when he had eyes for other women mm. and he slept with other women mm. and he ended up having children be with more than just one woman. It led to chaos and death and just, you know, a lot of different problems. So mm. why would you want to go into a situation where you know that because by nature females are very uh competitive so mm -hmm. in reality i don't care what husband and sister wives say that their relationship is a hundred percent uh perfect there's no jealousy there's no side eyes it's it's a lie period okay it's, a, it's lie. a lie that's just not in the woman it's not in the woman's nature i mean well i'm, I'm dealing with multiple women right now and they're all mm -hmm. they're all fine do with they it. all know about each other yeah they hang out sometimes you know what i'm saying but that's because they accept, see, this is what I'm trying to explain to you. When a woman recognizes, see, the alpha male is the top guy. Like I said earlier, what I'm saying is this. Would you be attracted to a man if, let's say, you had a boyfriend right now, right? And he's mm -hmm. obviously a beta male, right? And I say to him, you know, why are you with your girlfriend? And he says, well, I feel like she's, she's the best I could do. Would you be attracted to a guy that feels like you're the best he could do? You know what I'm saying? Like, how does that make you feel to feel like the only reason he's with you is because he, he feels he can't get nobody else? You see what I'm saying? Which is what most beta males do. They, they'll be with you and be loyal and, 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 and just with you because they feel like they can't get anyone else. But see, the lie is to think that they, may, they will tell you it's because, oh, it's because I love you, honey. That's the only reason I want to, I don't have eyes for any other woman. They're saying that because they don't have the option to get other women. The reason why alpha males have multiple women is because they know they can have it. You see what I'm saying? They're just, Chris Rock okay, said this so, years ago, guys are only as faithful so, as their options. You see what okay, I'm so this leads to the next question. Yeah. Is it possible? Mm -hmm. So you're telling, oh, it's not even gonna be a question. It's gonna be sort of like a retort statement mm -hmm. last question so basically you're telling me that an alpha male cannot be in a relationship with just one woman ever like that can never happen for the alpha man no there's always exceptions to the rule but most most alpha males don't want that because it, it seems unnatural to them you see what i'm saying because for an alpha male, because he's the top guy, he can get a bunch of different women. So when he can, because listen, all men want to be with multiple women at some point. Is it, There's no man on earth, I would say, of course, there's exceptions. But most men, alpha, beta, whatever, want to be able to, like, they, there's no guy on earth, I don't think, that has a girlfriend or girl he's dealing with and sees another hot woman walking down the street and saying, I would never have sex. This is just not going to happen for most dudes. So... Usually the guys who are alphas, the reason why they have multiple women is because they're that attractive to where they can have that many women wanting to deal with them. And so because they can do that, they, they indulge in that. They make it happen. They take advantage. You see what I'm saying? Okay, so humor me for a second. Mm -hmm. You are, um, do you think that there could be an alpha male who isn't attractive, like physically? Yeah, of course. It's not even about just physical. It's it's about his whole. There's okay. a lot of alpha males who aren't like the best looking dudes. You know what I mean? It's just it's an energy. It's a it's a mindset. It's the way he comes at women and he, the way that he interacts with people. You see what I mean? So when when he is that guy, and he know every guy who's an alpha male knows he's an alpha male, like a real alpha male, not fake ones, not sigma males, not guys who call themselves alpha males, but they don't. You know what I'm saying? Guys who are really, really alpha males know they're alpha males and they know that they can get multiple women. Since they know they can get multiple women and not only that they can get multiple women, they and can get multiple women. That's what turns women. me off about, you just made me realize that's the top thing that turns me off about an alpha male because he knows that in some way that he's attractive and he can Oh, and that turns you on, stop. So you just think that I'm automatically supposed to be attracted to you because you think that's how it's supposed to be. No, you don't, you don't gotta do nothing. I'm just saying that if you're smart, Smart, you would be attracted. You understand what I'm saying? That's Smart that's the be thing. Smart. Because because now you're getting to the 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 top guy. Like for example, okay, let's say for example, look at it this way: if I had two job offers, right? Because I just want I just want to say something real quickly. Okay. The only reason, let's say, if I would get with a, a alpha male, mm -hmm. the only reason why I would get in the alpha be with an alpha male is on some spiteful 
behavior. Why you behavior? Prove, what do you mean? Just to prove, and this, and this is the reason why I'm saying I don't ever feel that a woman would mm -hmm. happily, I honestly do not believe that a woman would happily mm -hmm. be with an alpha male knowing that he has multiple women. Mm -hmm. She's always going to be unhappy. That's just the way I, no. you know, that's just my perspective. I'm, I'm going to tell you why. This is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. For example, let's say you have two job offers, right? Mm -hmm. And let's say, or let's say you're doing two, two different freelance jobs. One says, hey, listen, um, I'm going to pay you $10,000, right? Mm -hmm. But you got to split this $10,000 with three people, right? Me, myself, and I. Right. You, you, <laughs> that's what you're thinking. Now, now but you got to split those $10,000 with three people. You're going to be like, damn, I'm only getting three Gs, right? Now, mm -hmm. if I say, hey, there's this job, you're going to get paid half, the, 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 the salary is half a million dollars but you got to mm -hmm. split that with three people. You're going to be like, right. damn, I really want all half a million, but fuck it. I'll just, you know what I'm saying? I'll take the hundred million or 150 million because that's still 150 million. So the, 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 the size of the money is so huge that you don't care about splitting it with those people. So that's how women see alpha males. That guy is so attractive. I don't mind sharing him because I'd rather share him than be the lame sorry, dude. And I'm definitely not trying to be rude, <laughs> but I think that is the most absurd thing in the world. It's true. It's true. Maybe, you know, maybe what my ex said is true. Maybe I really am selfish then because I do not, I don't, I do not see the point of sharing a man. And maybe it just comes from also comes my mm. beliefs, you know, just come from my beliefs and the way mm. that I was raised and the different mm. values that were instilled in me. Um, right. People who were raised in different backgrounds have different perceptions mm. of uh, relationships. So mm. you do also have to consider that, like what type of person are you? What are you view your views on relationships? Mm. How is this gonna move you forward? Is this, especially, um, because one thing um, which is also propelling me to go into psychology, I do suffer with uh, anxiety and depression. Mm. So mm. For, for me, it's very vital to be with somebody that's not going to trigger my emotional balance or understand that I do need, you know, certain attention because of underlying issues mm. that I do have that are uncontrollable. So for like, so like for me, like, I have many different reasons, including, you know, personal issues, mm. values that were instilled in me, beliefs mm. that I developed along the way because of relationships, past relationships I've been in. Those are, you know, those certain things are going to prevent us from being happily or in the, happy in the open or happy behind closed doors right. with a certain person. And I think that's something... Um, uh, uh, for women, a mistake also that we make is that we do not pick a male based on our values and beliefs and different things, and then we're left in an unhappy situation and we're the first to go, like you said, because mm. we thought that being with this alpha man because he's so attractive, he has the car, he has the energy, he gets us the attentions that we need, it makes us look good. Everybody wants to be friends with us because of who our man is. And then you sit back at the end of the day and you're just like, I'm really unhappy. And even mm. though this guy has all this going for himself, mm. That is not enough for that woman. And I feel that's the reason why a lot of celebrities leave. Also, when it comes to celebrities, because you did throw that in there, mm. I also think it's a money issue. They just get in, get in good for a couple of years and then break that um, contract for that spousal. Um, so would you So would you, Would you? you get with a guy who's a celebrity who has millions of dollars and, 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 and he has other women? Okay. No, I will not. Because I, I personally know I will be unhappy. And mm. for me, the thing for me is I want to live happy because I already have, right. you know, something that does uh, will allow me to take a happy situation and just turn it into a whole miserable situation. So mm. I know to keep me in a happy mindset. And I, and I feel like a lot of women, like I said before, they aren't happy with a guy who's with multiple women but because they do get those benefits mm. they'll stay but they'll only stay for so long once but see, it becomes but see, unbearable the thing they'll is, leave but see the thing is what it, it, this is how it, it this is how i see it, is that either you got two choices you're either gonna you're gonna be 
with an alpha male and you're gonna mm -hmm. have to share him or you're gonna settle for a beta male and be with him. So that's, and I, and I use those words like very deliberately. Either you're going to accept sharing an alpha male or you're gonna settle for a beta male. And when I say settle, meaning that you're- I wouldn't say settle because it's settling. something that's good for you, it's not settling because an alpha male is not good for everybody. So therefore- Right, and a beta male is not good for you either. It's not settling. A beta male's not good for you either because you're going to end up. Why is it that most women are the ones who, who uh, file for divorce? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Why is that? And most women are married to beta males because what happens is they get with this beta male because he's safe and then they realize they're not that attracted to him and they're like, I don't want to be with this guy anymore because he doesn't give me. Because see, alpha males give women that feeling, which is why women still gravitate to alpha males and have sex with alpha males because. Alpha males give women that natural Let's say feminine. Most women, because not all women, because I'm still definitely not. No, I, I, I mean, <laughs> even after this podcast, I'm still not going to gravitate. Come on, come on, you you you're the same as as the rest of them. You gonna do, listen? If I was, no, I listen, won't do it. If I was I in that room right now, won't do it. I've had many. I um I honestly I've had many of men that have the status, the money, the looks, the cars mm -hmm. can get any woman that they want, and I could deliberately say that the one time that I did go after that guy was to be spiteful because I didn't like the other girl, and it was just no, that's not toes money and cars don't make you an alpha male. That don't make you an alpha male. But I'm just I'm just saying like so. Have you ever actually been with an alpha male though? That's the thing. I, I I'm. No, I don't think I have because I don't feel that's something that I would be able to deal with. Right, right. And so, and so, okay, let me ask you this question. What turns you off about men, like when you're dealing with guys? Um, a male that makes everything about himself, a mm. male that sleeps with multiple women, mm. most definitely at the top of the list. <laughs> um, <laughs> also, a... Uh, uh, a male who doesn't want to try to understand the emotional balance of a woman. And I think mm. that's also where a lot of relationships go wrong. Mm. Women don't understand men, the genetic makeup of a man, or the psychological sci makeup of a man. Mm. And men don't understand the psychological makeup or, you know, of a woman. Mm. So it causes like an imbalance. Um, but there was a, before it leaves my mind, something that I did want to say. I feel the only way a woman would stay and, um, cause you know, not every woman gets divorced. There are people, you know, back in the day, now our generation is just like messed up. I don't know what's going on with the dating mm -hmm. pool. But, you know, back in the day, there are women, you know, who have been married for 70, um, 46, 50 years, you know? Mm -hmm. And I feel these are the women who uh, were lucky enough to find the balance between uh, the ba uh, the man that is balanced, mm. uh, you know, equally between the two. He knows he could get everything, he, the yada, 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 but he also knows that having multiple women can also make him lose it just as quickly. And also, don't get me wrong, because even having just one woman can make you lose it just as quickly, because I see some relationships. Yeah, if you're a beta male, like, that's, that's oh. what I'm saying. That's so... Uh, <laughs> I want to say it's the guy who has mm. a balance. No, I agree with I agree with balance. With just one woman, but knowing that he can get whatever woman that he wants, but it's just something about that one woman that makes him satisfied. I honestly, but that's what I'm saying. I know where where I know is the guy? Where is there's no guys like that? That's I what know I'm saying. You said that. I was just about to say that. <laughs> I know you said that, but I feel there are guys out there, or else otherwise, tell me why people have stayed married between you know beyond fifty years. Yeah, there they cheat. Are men. That's that, they're there cheating. Are okay. <laughs> there are men with okay being with one woman. One woman is enough for him. No, it's and not. That's the type of guy that I would they're, have to be with. So you mean they're you cheating? Mean, See, that's the difference. I'm telling. Listen, I'm t I'm so saying this. Me, so you about to make me be single for the rest of my life? No, no, no. I'm <laughs> saying no. It's so not, not just accept, listen. No, I'm. This is the thing. There's always exceptions to everything because so we okay. can't. We don't. But what I'm saying is, in general, like I even I have a friend. I'm not gonna say his name on here because I don't want to out him. But there's a guy I know who's been okay. married for I think 35 years, mm -hmm. and you know. To, to the people that know him, he was like, oh, he's such a great guy. And he's like the pillar of relationships. And, and he told me that he cheated on his wife once. 
and she don't know about it. You know what I'm saying? Like she still. And that's the reason why she's it. still with him. That's the reason why they still. No, but my point is that he cheated. About it. There but, are relationships where a woman will stay despite mm -hmm. the fact that he cheated because they're attracted to what this man has and what he could bring. But that's, that's my point. Realize. That's my point. You just. That's my point. My point is he wanted other vagina. He wanted other women. That's my point. The, yeah, every, but that, also he wasn't confident enough to let her know, hey, I want other women too. And while I'm with you, I'm going to be mm -hmm. sleeping with other women too. Was he right. confident enough to say that? No. He no, he should have said it. I agree. Secret. But but so the thing is, you secret, just said... consider him an alpha male. No, he's definitely not alpha male. Okay. But what I'm saying is, is that, just like you said, she mm -hmm. stuck with him because he has all these other characteristics and traits, correct? It's... It, it depends on the female. There are females who will leave as soon as they find out that you cheated. Mm -hmm. And there's other women who will be like, well, I don't care. He got $50 million and I'm driving the Bentley, so I'm going to go cry in the Bentley and go buy me some Gucci shoes. Right. All right. Well, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Let's say, for example, you, uh, okay, let's say me and you met. You didn't know I was a player, right? And we just kicking it, hanging out. We go out on some dates. Everything is cool. And, and then you're starting to really like me. But then you find out three, four, five months later that I'm messing with other women and that's how I get down. Now, now, that you ha now that you have those feelings, you're just going to end it literally just yeah. like that quick? Yeah, Come because on. I know for me that's not what's going to make me happy in a relationship. I have never stayed um, – um, I'm not even going to lie. Actually, I do remember in college I had this mm -hmm. one situation ship and – um, I knew the guy was uh, mm. sleeping with other women. But mm. the thing for me was that I knew I wasn't ready to be in a relationship. And I knew, he, he told me straight to my face, like, this is not what I'm looking for. Mm. And um, so I didn't call it a relationship. I called it a situation. I didn't consider him my man. Mm. It, it was just what it was. Mm. But when it, when it got time for me to want somebody specifically for me mm. that's when i got my behind up and was like hey this is the end of it like i gotta go because i want something and this is not what i want it's not gonna work for me right um so, so okay let me, okay so let me ask you so so if if you're just hooking up with a guy let's say you meet a guy he's not your boyfriend y'all met a few times you had sex maybe two or three times <laughs> but he's messing with a bunch of other girls is yeah. that cool like are you cool with that like you meet a guy y'all y'all have some fun but he's not your boyfriend, but he's also messing with other women. Is that, and how do you feel about that? Like, it's not something that's like ongoing because the situation I just described, you might as well actually have said it was like a relationship because mm. it lasted for like two years. So, so two um, years, y'all weren't, y'all weren't boyfriend and girlfriend though, right? No. And y'all, but y'all was having sex. Yeah. But we, it was, might as well have been that because I was always over his house. Mm. We were always around each other and right. it was just like, the, he was having sex with other women, though, right? Other. Say it again. He was having sex with other women, though, right? Pro most likely, because like I said, I can't be with him twenty four seven. See, there you go. So, so why can't you just do that same thing? You were literally because that's not what I want for the. Uh, that's not the end goal that I want. That's but, not. But you were doing it though. That's what I'm saying. You were with a guy you liked. Y'all had a great time. You enjoyed your company with him, and he was banging other girls. So why why is that? Why can't you do that also right now? That's what that's all I'm saying. That's, I'm not. In, I'm no longer in that place in my life anymore. Okay. Um, I'm looking for something that's more, you know, serious on mm. the, more of the serious line, more of marriage and raising a family and having kids. And I know me having kids and raising a family, I'm not going to want a guy that's sleeping with multiple women and mm. you know bringing women, you know, because when that when that's all over, mm. it's just like I don't know what you're bringing back home to me to mm. this bed at the end of the day and like i said that's one of my top issues and um majority of males do not like going to get checked mm -hmm. um even if they don't have health insurance there are free clinics and i actually was in a relationship with a guy and um i just i, I was like have you you know been checked like you oh i don't have health insurance and i was just looking at him like uh there's mm -hmm. a free clinic right so wait embarrassed to go there Hold and on. so like just for those that trait mm. that is dominant amongst males that mm. terrifies me. Mm. And it's just like, I'm not willing to subject myself to that, which led to me being celibate. I was just about to ask that. So this is what I'm, this, but this is what I'm saying. It's another thing 
that I feel like you're making moves off of fear, though, because you said that's what led you to be celibate. You weren't saying I'm celibate just because I'm trying it out. I want to, you but know. One of the reasons why. Not the, the main so what's reason. the other reasons? The other reasons why I'm celibate is because, you know, I've been through several relationships that didn't work out. And um, as I said, I am a Christian and mm. I was raised in the church and I'm a PK. And, you know, that's the way, if you want to say, that's the biblical way. Mm -hmm. And that's what they were taught, um, you know, be celibate, wait on God to reveal whoever your man is. And I'm just like, right now I'm in the place, even though I'm not going to go cock my legs open to anybody right now. I'm just going to like, God, if you ran out of husbands, let me know because, you know, I'll be <laughs> fine. I honestly will be fine by myself. I actually feel I will be fine without a man. I, I don't think so. I just, this, 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 okay, let me, let me ask this. So, are you specifically dating only Christian men, though? Um, right now, I'm not dating at all. I'm not focusing on relationships. I'm more focusing on my career. Uh, in the past, I did. Um, in the past, that wasn't my mindset. That I didn't have the mindset that I have now. So, in the past, yes, I did not only date just Christian men. Mm. In our, but in moving forward, are you going to do that? Um, yes, I feel that's more vital for the lifestyle that I'm going to be living. Li living, mm -hmm. um, just as um, I, it was funny because I actually sat in the car with one of my exes not too long ago. We were catching up, and um, I was talking about you know being a Christian and the mm -hmm. path that I was taking. And a song came on the radio, um, and it was you know very explicit. And mm -hmm. you know I'm young, so you know I listen to that music. I get turned up still, so you know I was jamming. And he was just mm -hmm. like. But, you know, you're a Christian. So, therefore, being and being with a secular man, I understand now that anything that I do, he's going to prejudge mm. because he's not in that same room with me. So, I kind of do feel, like I said, you have to be with the man that is most uh, vital for your values, your beliefs, mm. your um, lifestyle, your mm. image. Um, right. And so, that's why. I said Wait, how, I said, how old are you? 28. Okay. I know I look much younger. <laughs> yeah, you, look, you look really young. I think it's like 22 or Um, So wait, so uh, do you think, because we were talking about alpha females earlier, do you consider yourself an alpha female? I've been told that I am, but I do not consider myself an alpha female. I, I, they, they, um, I feel like the reason why they called me an alpha female is because the motto is alpha females never run in packs and they're mm. solo and I'm always like solo mm. and I when I walk in the room I automatically just you know steal the attention people are attracted to me and I guess that's where they even without trying it happens so I guess that's what this they say it is but I do not consider myself an alpha female I do know that if whatever I want I'm gonna get it because I'm gonna work mm. towards it but I do not consider myself an alpha female well, what's your definition of that though like what do you Honestly, if I did want to label a female an alpha female, I will say it's because from my perspective, dealing with any, even, I can't even say, because I don't even know if I consider John, I, I almost said his name, I consider the guy from work mm. an alpha male, but then even then I don't even realize if he's alpha male and this is the reason why i had to go read up on the alpha male because i was mm. like wait a minute have i ever came across an alpha male before like what is that that was like so foreign to me when megan mm. emailed me that i was like oh god this is really gonna put me on the hot spot because mm. i really didn't know what it is and based mm. on the character like i said when i was reading up on it there was really no positive mm. inclinations for about a alpha male of course and you know why you know why that is is because why? there's no po I, did, I did a video a, a year ago where i said women don't like alpha males and the reason why i said and it was basically what you were what we've been saying this whole time is that people don't well women this is the thing women are sexually attracted to and they gravitate to alpha males but the reason why uh people don't like them or or, or, or alpha males will get a bad rep is because alpha males are the most attractive people, period. Even above women, you know what I'm saying? Like, even above women, whatever you want to call alpha females, whatever, even though oh, that oh, oh, okay, okay. 
this just I'm sorry. I'm gonna let you finish, but I have a question before yeah, you finish, I do want to touch on this one question. So go ahead and finish. I just wanted to let you know so we don't get right. sidetracked. It. Oh no, I was just gonna, I was just gonna say that the you know the alpha male, he's 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 the top guy. So people are gonna mm -hmm. hate on the top guy because alpha males have a lot of power, meaning mm -hmm. that the 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 draw and the desire that women have when it comes to alpha males is something to where they feel like they can't even control themselves around the alpha male. Meaning you might say, I'm not going to deal with that guy, but you're like something inside of you is extremely attracted to him. Your femininity is, is, is attracted to his masculinity. And so what I'm and saying- I don't with, think I've ever came across an alpha male then. Wow, that's crazy. What, what were you going to say just now? And you, you was okay, like, so um, uh, there was a question. Um, do you think the alpha male mm, would mm. be- intimidated by his partner if her success outshine his success no of course not that's only again that's beta males beta males will be intimidated because for a beta male he needs to feel like he's making more money than his woman so that he can have something for her to need him for you understand what i'm saying so he, he see this is you gotta understand beta males they don't think they're attractive. So they're like, I need something to make me attractive. So if I'm making more money than this woman, then that means that she needs me. If she so makes more- You're telling me an alpha male would be hmm. okay if his wife was making more money than him. Yes, because for the alpha male, what the alpha male does is he says, that's our money. See, the alpha male is, is managing the relationship anyway. This is what alpha males do. Alpha males are the leaders. They manage the situation between them and a woman. So if, if he's making $30,000 and his, his wife is making 90,000, he's not looking at it like, oh my God, my wife or my girl is making more. He's saying, cool, that's more money for us. So she brings the money to him and then he does the budget. He does all the stuff. He creates all the situations for him and her to live. That's what alpha isn't males- that kind of technically backwards aren't no. women supposed to be the managers of the household no no you can be the manager of the household but not the money that's two different things you could you could cook clean <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, so um you think that uh there isn't any place okay not, that's not the question i was going for there was a specific question i wanted to ask that i had in my head um the alpha male and a female do you think at, um, that an alpha male has to be in complete control of the relationship at all times? I, I wouldn't say control. It's he has to be managing. He has to be in a leadership position. So managing means, because you can't control a woman. I tell guys that all the time. Right. Uh, and a woman can't control a man. Like no one can control anybody. So the thing is, is that what a man, uh, what an alpha male does is that he manages the relationship and he influences his woman to be better than she was the next day. So what managing means is that, let's say, for example, let's say we was a couple okay, or whatever. Okay, do you mean and, women plural? Because remember we said alpha men oh, yeah. more than one woman. Yes, it can be, yes, women plural. But let's say, let's say even, let's say for just sake of argument, he's just dealing with one girl and that's his girlfriend for now, whatever, right? So mm -hmm. he still is managing the situation because what, what, what men have to do, real men, not these, a lot of these dudes out here that don't know what they're doing. What real men know is, is that in order for a relationship to occur, mm -hmm. a man has to keep a relationship going. The relationship only occurs, any relationship that happens, in, again, exceptions, but most relationships that happen occur because of the man. For example, I'm going to go and approach the girl. I'm going to get her number. I'm going to set the date. We're gonna, you, you see what I'm saying? So I'm putting that in motion. Now, what well, happens crazy. is... What, so, you know, and then, so what I was going to say is, what happens is that now, if we're actually, let's say this girl becomes my girlfriend, what happens is, let's say a woman, a woman is having a, a, a situation where she's extremely emotional, right? Now, I have to be cool, calm, <laughs> exactly. I got to be cool, calm, and collected so that I can manage your emotion, calm you down, and also at the same time, I have to be calm. So that's my role as a man is to manage that situation. You see what I'm saying? And so what happens is, and this is what I'm saying, a guy who's an alpha male knows how to do that and he's on point with that. And see, this is, the, this is the key I want you to understand. Most guys who are beta males can't do that. So what happens is a woman's gonna get with a beta male, she's gonna be an, an, an emotional wreck 
He's not going to know what to do because he's a beta male. And then that woman's going to see an alpha male who knows how to manage her. So she's going to be like, wait a second. I want to fuck with him, even though he has another woman, because he knows how to manage me. That's how, that's how women think about this shit. So it's you're so, okay. Advantages. So you're telling me, um, I just want to ask a question. So you, mm -hmm. do you think that there is no balance between an alpha having alpha tendencies and beta tendencies? You just think you are specifically, specifically just an alpha and specifically just a beta. So you feel that at any given point that a beta at any time can never fully be in control or a leadership role in a relationship the way, proper way that a male is supposed to be. No, there's there's times where they could, like for example, uh, shout out to uh, there's a, a, uh, this dating coach I know named Alan Roger Curry, he's a great dating coach. He, he actually had um, a delineation between uh, alphas and betas where he said you have alpha males, then you have alpha males with beta traits, then you have beta males with alpha traits, then you have total beta males. Okay, so, so when I, okay, so I'm glad I asked that question because mm -hmm. I'm listening to you describe the alpha and I'm just like, heck no. And then I'm listening to you talk about the beta and I'm just like, heck no to that. Right. So for me, it, it's a balance of, a alpha or a beta with whatever like mixed together is like, for balance. right but see that's the thing but what's going to happen is you're going to have a guy who's going to have way more one one than the other so it's going to be like 80 90 percent alpha 10 percent beta male or 90 percent beta male 10 percent alpha male traits you see what i'm saying so, so you and, and feel then, a beta male would have to be in a relationship with a female who is typically strong more uh, uh whose strengths are in leadership Yes. You understand what I'm saying? Because that, that's, because like you said, there's always going to be a balance in a relationship. You're going to have the dominant and submissive. When a dominant man is with a woman, she's the submissive. When a, and when a dominant is, woman is with a man, he's the submissive. So when a woman wants a beta male, she's in the dominant position. So, so what I'm saying is you're going to be in the dominant position in the relationships that you're in. And then what happens is because you're in the dominant position, because females and women don't like to be in the dominant position, they are going to lose the traction for that guy. This is what uh, Patrice O'Neill, rest in peace, said. Women don't want to win. They want a winner. You see what I mean? They want to be with the guy who's the winner. And this is what I'm saying. Well, where, I want to win and I want to be with a winner. So Right, but that's how you win. That's, that's how you win. You get with the winner. So that's how you win. You get with the winner. In the dating world, then. <laughs> but I think you're... I need to win and I need a winner. I need somebody who's going to match what I'm doing. I think you need to get with a, a nice Christian guy who has some alpha traits. That's what you need. <laughs> that's that's going to be the perfect guy for you. <laughs>